follow up with your senator. Say, hey, what's up? Uh, $15 minimum wage. Uh, this is part of the Democratic Party platform. Where are you at? Um, talk to him. Because one of the excuses that I hear people hide behind the most is, oh, no, I'm not getting any calls about this. No one is calling my office about this. I'm not kidding you. Like, a lot of people think this whole call your senator thing is BS and doesn't mean anything. I'm telling you right now, it is so influential. It's influential precisely because not enough people do it. And so when someone does call, it's like, whoa. Um, and so call your senator because very often they do say that. They'll say, oh, I'm not getting any calls on minimum wage. So my, my state doesn't care about this issue as much. Or I will tell you, the right wing does make a lot of phone calls. Oh my gosh. I usually know what Tucker Carlson or Sean Hannity or any one of these like Fox News goals were, um, how do you pronounce that? Anyways, ASL, uh, not ASL, ASL. <laughs> um, but, um, you know, I, I often can tell what their monologue was, what the monologue, if we're getting attacked by Fox News, I can often tell what the monologue was uh, the night before because they send so many vicious people calling us, repeating the same exact phrases. And so what happens is that you get all of these people who are kind of like really brainwashed by a lot of these like teleracists <laughs> um, and just like kind of saying these lies um, on Fox. And then what happens is that they they call our office and literally repeat um, phrases from the monologue from the night before. And it happens like so often, it's kind of like drones. It's really kind of weird. Um, but, um, but it goes to show, but it, you know, it's influential. It is, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie, it's influential. That's why they do it. That's why people pay so much money to do it. That's why the propaganda is effective. And so I'm telling you that you need to call your senator. You need to call your elected official. You gotta do it um, because they will, they will use your silence as acceptance. I see it happen all the time. I'm, I'm telling you firsthand, as a member of Congress, I hear you all the time. I, I, I'm telling you, I hear all the time people say, oh, I don't need to support minimum wage, Medicare for all, Green New Deal. I don't need immigration reform, DACA, whatever. I don't need to support it because I don't get calls on it. My district doesn't call me about that. And, um, and so I'm telling you, you need to call. The other thing too is that calling is really not just about, um, it's not just about haranguing people who don't agree with you on your issue. It's not about like nagging your elected official either. Uh, please call your elected officials who you think are doing a good job. Um, <laughs> no, not just me, but call your rep, your rep. If I'm not your rep, we'll take the call. We will always take nice things. Um, but call your rep too, because it, it, let me tell you why it helps. It's not just like self-congratulatory or anything like that, but it legitimately helps me prioritize, right? Because at any given moment, we need to fight for so many things. We need to fight for student loan forgiveness. We need to fight for a Green New Deal. We need to fight for you know our indigenous and black and, and immigrant brothers and sisters. We need to fight for laborers and laborers. We need to fight for the right to unionize. We need to fight for all of these things. There's so much positive change that we need to make in the world. And so your calls help me prioritize because ultimately, there's so much beautiful change to make in the world, but at the end of the day, my job, my core, strip away all the functioning, strip away everything, my core job is to represent and serve the people of New York's 14th Congressional District. And so I need to prioritize based on 
the conversations I'm having with my community. And if my, the less conversations my community is having with me, the less phone calls that my community is having with me, the, the less information I have to help me prioritize. And very often I'm, I think to myself, I'm like, okay, we have all these, uh, you know, tennis shoes. What am I going to plan for March? Am I going to do housing or am, am I going to do housing in March and then environment in April? You know, it helps you really prioritize. Um, and so call your member, send an email. You can send an email too if you don't like the phone. And, um, and also know that no matter what, the person who's often picking up the phone when you first call is an ordinary person. Oftentimes they're quite young. You could have a, a 19 or 20 year old intern picking up the phone. You could have someone in their 20s, you know, you could have someone in the 30s, someone that's new to the work, but you're having a community liaison answer the phone for you. Their job is to be kind and to listen to you. Um, so, you know, don't be intimidated at all. They will help you walk through it. Um, and yeah, you know, please call. And if you think that your representative is doing something good, thank them, thank them. Like we get beat up a lot <laughs> in this work and feeling like you, here's like the flip side. You take a lot of knocks. It takes a lot of energy to take a lot of stances, especially progressive stances. And it is hard when you're under a lot of pressure, sometimes within your own party, to not take a stance, right? And if you feel like your community doesn't care, and if, if you feel like, oh man, like I'm, I'm, I'm using all of this political capital, I'm taking this huge political risk, and is it like, should I even bother because my community doesn't even notice? Um, maybe I can back off on this issue and then maybe I can lean into a different issue. And so having your constituents notice um, is really meaningful.